Hi, this is Yaroslav from ShareMuch.com and today we're going to talk about some of the mobile capabilities of SharePoint 2013 Preview. So, so uh, some of the mobile capabilities were available in 2010 version and in 2013 you would expect with the uh, tablets and mobile devices there's going to be a lot more investments into that area. So let's take a look at some of the uh, sites here. Um, some of the site templates uh, such as team site, uh, the newsfeed site and as well as a blog site. I haven't gone through all of the templates and checked how they look uh, on a mobile device but you know we'll, we'll hopefully do that in time. So one disclaimer that I want to also mention is because um, I'm still uh, I'm downloading Windows uh, 2000 Windows Phone SDK I don't have proper emulator for uh, Windows Phone but what I'm using here I'm using a Firefox add-in here called uh, uh, default agent switcher, uh, default user agent switcher, and I'm uh, basically I've switched this uh, default user agent to uh, iPhone 3. So basically, we're running under iPhone 3 emulation mode. So um, first things first. Uh, obviously, when you create a new team site, um, this is how the new team site is going to look on a mobile device. So uh, let's just uh, hit the root of the site. Uh, currently, you're you're looking at the view all site content. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, home page of the team site. So the home page of the team site looks pretty simple. Um, now there's three modes um, that are supported. Uh, there's a full PC mode or how I call it a full fidelity uh, rendering. Uh, there's a contemporary mode which you're looking at right now and there is a uh, a classic mode and a classic mode is actually looks exactly like 2010 mobile view mode so you probably would expect as more information comes along that uh, different modes are going to be displayed on different mobile devices so mobile devices that are not capable of handling uh, contemporary mode uh, or JavaScript uh, are gonna just load classic mode so currently you're looking at the home page uh, with a document library with one document in there uh, that render in the contemporary mode. So contemporary mode has sort of this simple UI and it also has this uh, settings uh, button here that pulls up this JavaScripted menu allowing you to go to view all site content and view all pages as well as sign, uh, uh, sign out. Uh, so that's the, con the contemporary mode. Uh, the way if you look at the URL here uh, we get uh, mobile lists A right so what I did I went to the actual folder where um, those pages reside and for each of those um, pages there's a first version and a second version so all that is is actually the A is a contemporary mode the uh, just without the, the, the name without A is a classic mode so if I switch to mobile lists um, it'll just open uh, default mobile lists uh, like it was available in 2010 so something like this so let's take a look at the actual blog site so the blog site is obviously one of the new uh, one of the older templates but also one of the templates that uses social features um, I was hoping it'll be using a, a mobile view it'll have dedicated uh, contemporary mobile view and unfortunately it didn't so uh, uh, once this page loads um, we'll see how the uh, uh, how the mobile blog uh, how the mobile blog site looks like uh, but basically uh, there isn't any there isn't anything different from a full fidelity side now this is just a speculation that has, it won't happen uh, for a full release potentially for the full release we're gonna have more um, more mobile tailored blog side uh, but uh, for now basically this is how the blog side looks like it's exactly how it looks on a on a default view um, also, one of the things that uh, I was hoping is that I can configure that mobile experience just by going to site settings for the blog site and enabling some sort of a feature that allows me to on the mobile view. So in fact, there is a feature called uh, that has to do with the default uh, automatic redirect to the mobile site. Unfortunately, when you turn on that feature on a blog site in particular, uh, you will be redirected to the classic view. So. Um, uh, let's take a look at uh, manage site features and take a look at that feature so there's a automatic mobile browser redirection if you turn that on your site right away the blog site is gonna right away uh, redirect you to the uh, to the classic mode which is not the best I would rather have on my mobile device I'd rather have the uh, full fidelity side than, than this view uh, it's much uh, much less friendlier so and the last thing I want to take a look at the my site how the my site looks like so my site is now has been amalgamated into the uh, uh, you know the newsfeed and and the my content has been amalgamated in this one one side. So it's interesting to notice that it also 
doesn't have a mobile friendly view. We're running under iPhone 3 emulation here again and uh, there isn't anything specific to you know mobile view. I would probably expect that for mobile device I would want to see um, you know this panel and maybe this feed on the top or really just just put the photo and then this feed on the bottom and then what I'm following somewhere also on the bottom or you know I click on my face and then I see what I'm following but no this is exactly what you see this is a full fidelity view uh, if I if I was to open this in the uh, an uh, Enter Explorer that currently runs the full fidelity view for me. It'll look exactly like that. Again, I'm not sure if that's going to remain like that for the um, for the final version of the product, but this is what it is. I mean, for tablets, it's okay. Um, for tablets, you know, all of this UI uh, makes sense. It's easy, but for mobile devices, not really. So uh, it doesn't seem like there's improvements in that in the preview. Again, those are just three sides, but those are the sides that are most significant to me because I think that um, sites that uh, involve uh, social interaction uh, will will be used on, on mobile devices. Uh, now, one of the things that I also wanted to add is you notice that uh, on the team side, I had a document added here. And uh, when you click on a document, I it offers a download. So if you have a mobile device, if you have Windows uh, mobile device, a Windows Phone, you can you know edit the document because there's some uh, Word document capabilities, editing capabilities available. But if you're opening it on iPhone, obviously it's not going to work. However, as you know, Office web applications, um, if you have them installed on your on your system, you could probably expect some sort of a mobile friendly experience. I haven't confirmed that yet, and the reason why, for the simple reason, is because um, uh, Office web applications. Um, do not appear in the list of uh, standard service applications if we go to central administration. So uh, in 2010 version, you did have a list of service applications and one of them, you know, there was access services, search service application, and so there was also uh, um, office web applications. They're not in the list of uh, available web applica uh, service applications right now. So my only assumption is that they are gonna be um, available potentially as a separate download, which I haven't installed, haven't configured and uh, therefore I'm not able to confirm how this particular feature behaves uh, in a mobile view. So uh, here's uh, my uh, configuration wizard and the central administration just to quickly show you that the uh, office, uh, office web applications are not available in a list here but here are some of the uh, familiar applications pretty much all of them um, and a couple of all of them from 2010 and a couple of them new ones. So. All right, hopefully that was useful for you to be able to plan uh, how 2013, at least in this case, preview uh, addresses some of the mobile hopes and needs that you might have had. And stick around for more screencasts at uh, sharematch.com and also on my YouTube channel.